And good evening. Tonight, the Indiana University campus in Bloomington is mourning the loss of another student this semester. As we've been reporting, the body of an 18-year-old was found in her dorm on Sunday. And today, we're no closer to learning how she died. We begin now with RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet in Bloomington. 18-year-old Abby Bott's body was found in her IU dorm on Sunday, and while authorities say there are no signs of foul play, they don't know how she died. The 18-year-old from the Chicago area is the second freshman to die on campus this year. 19-year-old Rachel Feach of Zionsville died in late August after she fell down a flight of stairs during a party. Abby Bott's body was found in a room at McNutt Quadrangle, where she lived. It's just saddening to me because it's already a tough enough time on parents when their babies are going off to college and then they get that phone call that no parent ever needs to get and it's just heartbreaking. University officials say that Bot has a twin sister that also attends IU. It's unclear if she was alone or with other students at the time she died. In any given year, uh, we will lose anywhere from 10 to 12 students for a variety of reasons. But if you think about that, you know, we're a community of 40, you know, over 40,000 people. Um, so we're going to have uh, some tragedies and, and we regret every one of them. Some, some of them from illness or accident, all sorts of causes. While students have their own theories and to how Abby Bott died, it could be weeks before her family and friends learn that answer. In Bloomington, Chris Prophet, RTV6. IU police say that while the death does not appear to be suspicious, they are conducting a full investigation. It could be four to six weeks before police will have toxicology tests that could explain how Bott died.